Well, I guess... I'm glad the cops didn't arrest me. I was there. Let's just go back to town. Jack, Jack. Oh, her again. oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. Waits? We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Why is the alleyway covered in blood? What did she do? What? Oh, whoa. Audio, visual, and control effects? If I lose sanity? That's creepy. What? Why is this alleyway full of blood? Why can't I move? Oh, there we go. I guess it takes a second after it loads to let me move. Okay, gotta get in the back of the variety store. I think that's where it is. Yeah. It's unlocked. Alright, Tom's let me in. I gotta find the safe. I have the combination. Shoot, I don't know what her birthday is. That's gonna come cause a problem. The safe combination is her birthday. What kind of variety shop is that? Oh, it's a butcher shop, okay. Who are you? You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. <laughs> My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. Alright, you're a bad guy. I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billing. Oh, she was dating the huh. Brian dude. You're Brian's broad. <laughs> that figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? Why don't you just drive you know, away? You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. What did you when just you do? you find him, oh, okay. give him this. He'll know it's for me. <laughs> like she did some kind of creepy stealth thing. <sighs> Maybe she has a clench button. Ew. Neat. All right, I got a health kit. What did, what did she give me? Photo of Brian Burnham with Ruth Billingham. There's a message in the back. It says, I love you, BB. BB. Ah, I can't even take the money out of the till. Come on, what kind of breaking and entering is this? Alright, um. I have a coloring book. Okay. The girl was drawing creepy stuff. We need that. But I don't know what her birthday is. Wait, yesterday was her birthday. Yesterday was her birthday. When was this written? It's from today. Okay. So yesterday was her birthday. Today is February 7th. And she's 10 years old. So it's February 6th, 20... 19... 20... Good grief. Or 100 years to it. 19, and then 10 years back from 1922. It's 1912. So February 6th, 1912. Oh, wait. I never knew. I don't know how to work a com combination lock in real life very well, so I gotta figure out. Okay, so four number combination in that order, starting going clockwise. Okay, so going clockwise, we need to make it say two, six, twelve, two, six, twelve, two, six, twelve. Uh. Two, six, 
six. One. I must have got something wrong. Eh, uh, what's today? Oh, today's the 6th. It needs to be the 5th. It's 2 5 22. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I guess you spin it all the way around once or twice to reset it. Whee! Okay, starting clockwise. 2. Five. One. Two. I must have made a mistake. Yesterday was her birthday. This is where I show that I'm not very good at puzzles. <laughs> there. And I'm especially bad at combination locks. So if you ever want to keep me out of something, just lock it with a combination lock. And then give me the combination. The month. Day. And year. And this was written today. Wait, it is the 7th of February, 1922. Is it the 7th or the 8th? What day is it? It must be the 8th. Let's try 2 7. I feel like you're all sitting out there yelling at me. This is so stupid, and I'm going to get it wrong again. Alright. 2. Seven. One. Two. We'll run out of numbers eventually. I must have made a mistake. Ah. Uh, it would be twelve, right? Yeah, ten years from nineteen twenty-two is nineteen twelve, and it's a four-digit code. And given that today is one of the days. We have a net, we have a seventh. Maybe it's the ninth? I don't know. I don't I don't remember what day it was. If I could remember what day it is, then this would be easy. So I'm just gonna keep trying days, because I know it's like after the seventh of February. So it's Yeah, January, February. So two starting clockwise, yeah, we did that. Two and it's the ninth today, maybe, so two eight one. That's not right. Good grief, what day is it? <laughs> Alright, what, what am I missing? Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy so much that I still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe in that order starting clockwise. So the month has to be two because it's still February. The day would be one day before today. And if I could remember what today was in the game, then we'd be all set. Because the year has to be 12 because it's 1922, 10 years, 1912. Yeah? 7th of February. I'm going to turn it all the way around twice, just in case. I'm going to try... 2... Wait, am I turning it clockwise? That might be my problem. This doesn't work. I'm going to try going the other way, because I may think it's going clockwise. and That's not right. Okay. Maybe I'm trying it the wrong way. If you feel like putting the solution in chat, I'm not proud. I'm not too proud to take it because <laughs> I am. I am feeling pretty stupid right now. Let's see. Let's try two. I think it must. It must be the eighth. Two. Seven. One. Two. That's not right. Oh man! Come on. Eight, one, two. Oh, did I unlock it? I 
entered it. He didn't say he did it wrong. I must have got something wrong. Now he says he did it wrong. Ah. Uh. February. Oh shoot, I'm going the wrong way again. I think. Could you just told me the combination in the thing? That would have been easier, man. Tom waits. Alright, let's try two. Let's try six. Two, six, one, two. Oh, there we go. Finally. Yes, that's it. Finally. Okay, save spot and a book. I'm gonna save it before I take the book. Nope, I'm the gonna save it after I take the book. This a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words "Book of Dagon." All right, we have their we have their evil book, and I don't know if I actually saved it. So we'll try that again. Yeah, saving the game. Okay, sorry about that puzzle. That was obnoxious. Oh, why did that or I'm just dumb. Alright, Book of Dagon. I can't open it? Maybe it's in here. Oh, here we go, Book of Dagon. The book is handwritten and heavily bound. Its cover is embossed with the title, The Book of Dagon. It seems to be a religious work translated from a series of ancient tablets. Sounds like the Book of Mormon to me. Oh, God, I guess not this part. It tells of an entity called Dagon and apparently some kind of sea god and his consort, Hydra. Hail Hydra! These are the greatest of an underwater race called the Deep Ones, who worship them with sacrifices and other rites. The descriptions of the sacrifices are particularly shocking, and there are details of magical spells and other strange rituals. If this incredible manuscript is to be believed, their origin stretches back beyond the remotest human origins into unthinkably remote antiquity. A few individuals are so incredibly old that they, do, they have seen continents rise and fall, for they do not die of old age as humans do. Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are such individuals, and are greatly revered for their age and size. Their greatest awe, however, is reserved for a dark god named Great Cthulhu. Ah! We have a title! Who is said to sleep and dream in an underwater city of Relia. Something. Relia. The book seems incomplete. The last chapter is tail off, as though the translation has not been finished. Well, that's anticlimactic. You have the Book of Dagon, but it's really like the Book of Dagon, chapters 1 through 2. We'll write more when George R.R. R. Martin finishes Game of Thrones. <sighs> Alright. So... It's getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. <laughs> Make tracks. She said she was going to wait by the railroad tracks. Alright, now that I know this whole town is evil, I'm gonna try and not... Wait, what's wrong with this dude? He's crying, maybe he'll give me information. <laughs> nope, he's just gonna sit there and cry. Who are you? Just another creep. Alright, let's get out of town before someone shoots me in the face. Or turns me into an evil guy. Or feeds me to Mama Godzilla. Oh. No, they're blocking the town, and that creepy cop, Birch, is there. To figure out how to get past him. It won't open. You're not gonna let me past, are you? Constable, what's with the blockade? You're barely minding your own affairs. What have you done? Do you have any other Tom line? <laughs> Them police affairs. What have you done with Tom Wait, He's not her. done recording yet. Chit chat to him is gonna get me no place fast. I say to his face. You can just go and stuff him. Alright, maybe. Maybe my old. Oh, you jerks. It won't budge. They blocked it off. It won't open. I guess I'm stuck in town. Maybe I'll go back to the hotel. And I'm gonna go back over here and save the game real quick. I wonder if there's a difference between the ones with no eye, or the ones with the... the star, and the ones without the star.
Oh, yeah, it didn't save. 